Hey, man, you know, I want to say something to Gibson to call in the God without repentance. This is burning him in. If, I, if that's you, hold on. I, I want to say this. The office, the office, the, the gifts, the office, the position and the title that God has given you is going to work. You don't even have to be, um, you don't even have to be serving God and living for God. You can live like the devil. There's a lot of people that have the office, they have the position and the title. It's going to work because when God gives you something, he doesn't want it back. That uh, But are living like the devil. So don't think because you're, you're living in sin, you're okay. You're going to die and go to hell, man. You better call on Jesus Christ and get right with God, brother, and serve God for real and get rid of that double living because uh, the hypocrite should not enter into the kingdom of God. The gifts and the calling of God without repentance. Hey Amen. I want to say this. I'm on the front lines. Hey Amen. I'm preaching in the front lines. I've just been holding a camp meeting in the front lines, preaching this gospel in the front lines and ministering and testifying and witnessing for Jesus Christ in the front lines and almost got my head knocked off a couple of times. I think it was three times I was preaching in the corner in the front lines and I seen God come through for me, man. I seen God just keep those people off of me and move them away. I got this close, man. I almost bought the farm a few times, but I thank God for the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus Christ over me, man. <laughs> I'm in the front lines, man, preaching this gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm a light in a dark place, but I'm sold out, man. I am sold out for Jesus Christ and my stealing from God. I'm not stealing from church, stealing from the church, and I ain't messing with nobody's grandma and sister and aunt and cousin or in the house of God or out here in the world. I don't do it in the church and I'm not doing it out in the world. So I don't do it in church, but I'm doing it out in the world. I don't do it out in the world, but I'm doing oh, I'm doing it both. I'm in I'm fooling around in and out in and out of the church. Man, you just a sinner. <laughs> you need to come to Jesus. Amen. Jesus loves you. You can be born again. But the Bible says don't because I want to say this the devil was a worship leader. Remember he he was the worship he was called the light bearer. Lucifer means light bearer, the one who carried the light. Yeah, I want, he was a worship leader. Yeah, all the people getting caught up in worship. I want to know where's your fruit. Yeah, it's not what you say. It's what you do. How you living? Are you living what you say? And my brother, I'm living what I say. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Uh, they're not living what pray. Say, Lord Jesus, I want to know. Is this a true man of God or true? I, I see it. I hear it. But are they doing it? Uh, uh, what's, the, what's in the dark is going to come out. And we've been seeing that for way too long. A lot of people saying it, but they ain't living it. A lot of people singing it, but they ain't living it. A lot of people reading it, but they ain't living it. A lot of people preaching it, they ain't living it. A lot of people going to camp meeting, going to church, but they ain't living it. We have too, too much of those. Let's go and let's live for Jesus Christ, man. Deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me, Jesus said. For what is it to gain the whole world and lose your own soul? You can gain the whole world and lose your own soul. It's sad to see a lot of these Christians, man, are selling their soul out for really fame. You got the greatest treasure in the world. You got Jesus Christ. Why would you give up Jesus just to have with the world? Man, I'm with Jesus. I'm staying with Jesus Christ today. Heaven and earth shall, man, I got the greatest treasure of all. You can have that. I don't want anything in the world. I want Jesus Christ, man. I was there. I was a sinner. <laughs> I used to be a sinner. And I feel with now I got the bread of life. I got the living waters. Whoo, hallelujah. I thank God for the bread of life. I thank God for the living waters. I thank God that I, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, I got it now. I know there's a God. Whoo, hallelujah. There's a God. And God is my Father. Man, you go ahead and do what you want. But I'm telling you, you's a fool. You give up Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Don't give up Jesus. And that's sad to see. You see, Christians have it all. Walking away from God to get something from the world when you have the God of the universe as your father. And they're leaving God, leaving the church, leaving their calling to, to get something in the world. If that's you, repent and come back to Jesus. Don't die backslidden and go to hell. All these people doing what Judas did, selling out Jesus Christ, man. I ain't going to sell God out, out, man. You better not sell Jesus out yet. Stay with Jesus Christ. And if that's you, you a Judas, you sold Jesus out, man, you better repent and come back to Jesus Christ, man. Jesus loves you today. Amen, and so do I. Ain't enough money, ain't enough women, ain't enough sex, ain't enough homes, ain't enough cars, ain't enough dinners, ain't enough, lunch, ain't enough clothes, ain't enough diamonds in all the world. 
to make me turn my back on God. Man, God put me there. He saved me, man. Whoo, thank you, Jesus. You so fool. Don't do it. Stay with Jesus Christ today. Amen. Um, Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I love you. This is the reverend, but I want you to know you can have the office. You can have the office. You can have the position and the title. You can flow in the gifts. Ooh, you can be blessed to God, but leave living like the devil and go to hell. Satan had the gifts. He was a worship leader at one time. Got kicked out of heaven. That's you. Repent and come to Jesus Christ today. It's the Reverend Rudy Henry here, where he who saves one life saves the world's ministries. I'm just a nobody telling everybody about somebody. I'm in the front lines.